Hey, what's going on guys? Thresh Track here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Team of the Week Wednesday. Now, I've already gotten a sneak peek at this Team of the Week and it is looking pretty damn good. So, I'm really excited to get into this. If you guys are new to this, it's Team of the Week Wednesday. It's pretty basic. We take a look at the Team of the Week, we review them, I give you my ups and my downs, and then we open up some packs and try and pull them. Sound good? Now, for this Team of the Week, we have 92 Wheeler, 92 Gaudreau, 92 Shifley, 92... Like, what is this Team of the Week? It's ridiculous. I absolutely love it. We also have a uh, Zabinajad, an Arbison, a Hurdle, and a, a Niemi. Not too excited about the Niemi. And we also have an Everlight and a Brian Little. Now, if you are new to the channel, you don't know about Anthony Niemi, ask in the comments. I'm sure somebody will, will let you know all about that. Is there anything else out besides the Evo 2s? No? All right. Let's go ahead and get to this Team of the Week. First up, 90 Braden Point. He has Burner. I have nothing negative to say about it. I can already tell you right now. As I did have his Evo 2 for a while, it's a beast. Pick it up. We got 92 Blake Wheeler, 92 Gaudreau, 92 Shifley, 90 Aho, 84 Gensel, Sam Carrick at 77 overall, Dina Medico at 78, and Timu Turinen at 76. On defense, we got 90 Mark Giordano. I think this is like his second or third 90 overall card. We got uh, Matthias Eckholm, Jacob Truba, Eric Carlson, and Jerome LeDuc. All right. Last but not least in that, we're rocking Jordan Biddington. Playing pretty well over there in uh, St. Louis. So he's doing a good job. Your backup goalie. He has Brenner. There you go. Be on the lookout for him. Let's go a little bit more in depth here. Now, like I said, Brayden Point, I had his Evo 2. This card is an absolute beast. And the fact that he has Burner is going to help out a lot of people who want that synergy activated. And somebody was saying, hey, why are you still looking at uh, why are you looking at synergies? Because the synergies mean that cards are going to be more expensive. If a card has Burner or Speedster, it means they're more expensive. Only because people want to activate these synergies, it helps them. But that is how it works. So that's why I bring it up. Next up, we got Blake Wheeler. Net front presence, a hammer time. Not a big fan of the synergies. However, 92 overall, 6 foot 5 Blake Wheeler. He's not going to be as expensive as he should be because a lot of people did pick the Blake Wheeler. Still going to be a really good card. Next up, 92 Johnny Gaudreau. Can I just say, if you wanted Pavel Burry in this game, you're not going to get him. This is probably your closest thing you're going to get. 92 Gaudreau. Johnny Gaudreau, 100%. Uh, Jake Gensel, 84. This is your throwaway card. Um, now, there are some other lower end gold cards, don't get me wrong, but if you were to pull a decent gold card for the Team of the Week, and it's Jake Gensel, it's probably just a throwaway. You're not going to get much for him. Not a bad looking card by any means, but it's just not high enough overall, and his synergies just aren't there. You got Sebastian Ajo at 90. I used his 88. I can tell you right now, his 88's a monster. This is only going to improve on that, obviously, and uh, yeah, no, do you know what? I, I would get this card 100% if I could. Next up, Mark Shifley, 92. I pulled his 90 probably about six times. Let's see if we can make the 92 happen today. Um, going to be a very expensive card, even with the crappy synergies. As he is six foot three, but he has 98 speed and acceleration, which means he's a big guy who flies out there. Decent body checking now. He has great hands, and he's finally getting into that zone where he can finally start winning some faceoffs. So that's exciting. Um, as for Sam Carrick, throwaway card. Not expecting too much from him, unfortunately. Same with your uh, Divamenico and uh, Turinen. As for the defense, Giordano, 90 overall. I used his Evo 2. Absolutely loved it. Gonna try and pick it back up. So yeah, I would pick that one up. Matthias Ekholm, probably a throwaway card. Uh, same with Jacob Truba, unfortunately. They're just... Their synergies aren't great, and they don't have great stats. So I, I can't imagine they're gonna be worth too much. Um, maybe the fact that they're both tall? But for the most part, nothing. And then, I mean, just a 92 Eric Carlson with Speedster at that. Dear God. Now this will be a very expensive card. Um... One, because it's Eric Carlson, obviously, but two, he has Speedster, which means he's got 99, 99, everything. It's going to help out with the rest of the team. It's just a monster of a card. So if there's one card on this team of the week, I wish I could get and forget about Leduc because he's not going to be worth anything. If there's one card I could get, probably the Johnny Goudreau. Like I said, he's uh, the closest thing to Pavel Bure we have in the game right now. But as for a right-handed shot, it'd be Eric Carlson. So those are my two top picks of cards that you're going to want to pick up. Obviously, the overalls help. But they're also going to be the two best cards that play out there. But you have to stay away from any cards. Probably stay away from the Jake Gensel and uh, the Ekholm and the Truba. They're not going to be worth anything, and they're probably not going to play too great. As for your goalie, Jordan Biddington, the same thing I say every single week. Every goalie in this game plays differently for every player who uses them. It could be great for you. Other players might not do well. Feel free to try him out, but I can't imagine that he's going to be worth anything. Now, guys, let me know in the Team of the Week, what card do you want the most? Now, I know I said... Goudreau or Carlson are the two I would pick up. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. So let me know who you want first. Who you want first? 
Let me know who you want the most. I, I see a lot of you guys probably gonna say that Blake Wheeler, but with the uh, amount of you guys that choose the free one, I'm not sure. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and open up some packs. Now, first off, I will let you guys know, I have a trade day going on right now. 190 trades so far. We have about, say, 17 hours until uh, I check trades, so feel free to send them in. They're up for uh, 344,000 start price. My team name is Thrash94Gaming, and I'm on PS4. So feel free to send them in. We got some really good cards that are up for trade. Now, opening up some packs here. We have five packs, and I have 35k, so I might open up another... Uh, I might open up another gold plus pack. So we have a regular silver pack. I got this for uh, progression rewards. So we'll see if we get something in here. Uh, 99. Hey, look at that. Anything worth it? Andre Havlek. All right. Didn't get a gold player. Not too concerned. Next up, we got two gold rare player packs from the, the trade-in. So we'll see if we get something. You never know. Maybe we get lucky and pull something crazy like Ivan Provorov at 82 overall. Not quite. Not quite what I'm looking for. Come on, need something bigger. I haven't had a crazy reroll in a very long time here. I'm due with an Adam Henrique. Now, I love the guy. I have a signed puck. I have a signed jersey. I love Adam Henrique, former Spitfire, but it's not what I'm looking for here. Gold Plus Pack, number one. Come on. This is from the another Ivan Provorov. What are the odds? These are from uh, Hut Champions for Top 500. We got uh, nothing there. Brandon Saad, Michael Froley. Patty Kane at 84. That's not horrible, I guess. I will never complain with a Patrick Kane. There you go. 84 overall. Let's see if we can beat that. Maybe get a Team of the Week. For the love of God, it's Team of the Week Wednesday. Give me a Team of the Week. I don't care which one. I won't complain. Trevor Linden alumni card. Not quite a Team of the Week, but I will take it. Anything else? Artem Anisimov. Not great. We'll open up one more Gold Plus pack and we'll call it a video. Let's go. Let's do this. Now what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to turn around here, you guys will get to see what's in the pack. And then uh, I'll turn around and I will see that 92 Team of the Week, Eric Carlson. I'm excited for it. Three, two, one! I don't see much of anything. We got Jason Palmerville and Martin Furk. Uh, Shea Weber at 82. Alright, didn't quite get what I was looking for. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Like I said, trade day results will be tomorrow. We'll have them up uh, probably around 3 o'clock tomorrow, so hopefully you guys are excited for it. I know I have some really good cards up, and hopefully you guys are interested in some of them. I mean, that Morgan Riley's going for over 300k. The Ford's Bridge going for 300k. Some expensive-ass cards in that trade day, so make sure you send them in. And hopefully next week, we'll pull a Team of the Week card. Thanks for watching, guys.